grazie alla Web TV di Agri Levante. I would like to thank uh, Web TV of Agri Levante because the contents that are proposed by this uh, show, well, they get out of the boundaries of Fiera del Levante and they reach you through the web. This year we have uh, devised an appointment with a very important person, Simona Rapastella, Director General of Federe Una Coma, that every day it tells us about the all the days of uh, Agri Levante. Well, this Saturday has been so packed with events. So we have seen many people in in these halls. Well, yesterday you promised us to give us uh, some other figures about this edition uh, that is back after a pause of four years. Uh, yesterday you spoke about a plus 12%, but we didn't mention the numbers of the B2B meetings. Well, they worked very well. At the end of the second day, uh, well, of course, I have not uh, now the numbers of the third day, but I confirmed this upward trend in terms of uh, visitors uh, and also foreign visitors, but also the international section, those of B2B, uh, that of B2B meetings, uh, well, they have worked so well. We have reached more 1,000 meetings, uh, uh, and these meetings uh, took part with the participation of the uh, companies that registered here with uh, the uh, more or less 100, 500 foreign operators, uh, five, uh, 150 foreign operators, sorry. So this confirms the global international dimension and scope of Agri Levante. Uh, well, I think the interest in this show is demonstrated by these numbers. Uh, well, these events, uh, B2B meetings, that add to all the other kinds of uh, events and meetings, uh, exchange, training. So many students have uh, been attending this edition of Agri Levante. What about today's events? Uh, are there some of them that have been Impressed you more than others? Well, uh, many visitors have enjoyed the live demos uh, outdoors. Uh, we did, the, uh, there have been demos of farming robots, and also there have been demos of advanced electronics. They have appreciated, yes, appreciated a lot in the afternoon. Uh, well, the lead actors have been robots and drones uh, that have uh, demonstrated before a wide audience and public what uh, means to work with this technology in farming. Uh, very fascinating, I would say. It has been so beautiful because in a place like this one where we, where we want to see, to have a look at the future, uh, so there have been uh, also people that have assumed uh, a 5.0 more than 4.0. Well, it is just an assumption. It is only this right now, but we speak of five. Uh, we, we speak now of 5.0 uh, because, well, of course, uh, much remains also to be done at the level of 4.0. Uh, well, during the pandemic, uh, uh, well, there have been many initiatives that have uh, allowed us to understand better what uh, 4.0 means in agriculture. So um, we have uh, been able to raise the awareness of farmers of the potentials of uh, 4.0. Uh, 
Well, as I uh, mentioned before, much remains to be done at the level of uh, 4.0. But of course, we still uh, need a, a, a cultural upgrade in terms of the use of mechanization for agriculture. But our hope is to go ahead and assume a 5.0 that could engage and uh, political decision makers uh, for them to issue new, new measures, new, new incentives for other sectors. What uh, will attain this target? Uh, well, uh, in Italy we say there is no two without three, but four comes uh, by its own. So we are waiting for you tomorrow. Thank you, Simona Rapastella. Ciao.